you bought an expensive pair of bearings, or maybe you just got an older set that you kind of want to clean out and keep rolling with, we're going to show you how to kind of clean those out. Now, especially when your bearings get dirty, you can tell because they usually make a lot of noise. You're going to hear this like whining sound that's kind of happening. Uh, you may even notice a little bit of slowdown in speed, although that's pretty gradual, so it's hard for most people to notice. First thing you want to do is check your bearings. The ones that you really can clean are ones that have a little plastic shield on the outside. If it's all metal, you can kind of re-lubricate those, but they're pretty hard to clean, you can't really flush those out. And for this one, we're going to focus on the ones that have that little plastic shield. So you're going to need a few basic things, one being your dirty bearings, second being a razor blade, third being some type of like container that you can put a cleaning agent in. We're using little bones, little bearing cleaner, since it has these nice little things that separate bearings, it makes it nice and easy. And you're going to also need a cleaning agent. Oh, this is Gilmount Carburetor Cleaner. I've used it a lot before. Works pretty well and it's pretty cost effective. Other stuff you can use like acetone or you can use like isopropyl alcohol. But try not to use a citrus cleaner because that can leave some residue, kind of eat away at stuff. And don't use WD-40. That will mess your bearings up. So please don't use that. Once you've got that stuff ready, first step is just to pretty much is to pop out your shields. Now this is uh, the Bone Swiss Labyrinth one. So it has a shield on both sides. Mostly have it on one side to make it easy. But on mine, i got to pop both off. So first thing is take your razor blade. Now please enter it very, very carefully in there. And if please, if you're kids, you know, make sure your parents are helping you out with this. We don't want any lost limbs, fingers, and cuts and stuff. That's kind of lame. So you want to take out your razor blade. You want to insert it very softly along the rim and try to pull that up. It just takes a few tries. Oh, I got it first try. Uh, but be very gentle with that. You don't want to be damaging all the shields or anything. So just set that aside. Now I said most shields only have one. My bearings happen to have two. So we're going to do the other side now. There we go. All right, now you have the option of actually taking the little steel ball bearing actually out of there, out of its shield and casing. I usually don't because unless you have specific tools, they can get loose or not set correctly. So unless you're kind of ready for that and have the correct tools, don't do that. And if you do, you probably know how to do this and don't really need this video anyway. Um, so I'm just going to leave them like that and then we'll kind of press on. So now we're just going to kind of fill up your container. I mean, you can use like a little cup or something from this. I would not suggest a drinking, one you plan on drinking with after. Um, but just put a little bit of bearing cl the cl your cleaning agent in there. And also probably do this in a well-ventilated area. We don't want anybody passing out while cleaning the bearings. Um, and on this one, we're using this little bones cleaning kit. And this one, because it has this nice little feature where you can separate all your bearings. Just for this one, I'm just doing one so we're not sitting here just you know screwing on eight different bearings. But this does have these nice little separators. And it also makes it easy to kind of dunk in and out. I've done this plenty where I've just used a screwdriver to kind of stir them around. Um, that's a little more difficult just to make sure they're getting a good clean. So. Alright, cool. Let's attach this one bearing in there. Alright. And now for the dunk. So then there. And the way this is cleaning agent is doing is really taking everything out of that bearing. All the little dirt and stuff in there, all the actual lubrication that's in there too. That's why one of the major things is going to be re-lubricating your bearings. We'll get to that a little later. So we're going to shake that up and then we're going to check the bearing out. Alright, did pretty good. Got a lot out of there. So I'm just going to kind of wipe around the edge here with a paper towel, get some of the other corrosion off. Now always be checking back to your cleaning agent. You want to make sure if it gets dirty. So if that's one, one, it's not very, I'm going to reuse it. But note that if it does get pretty dirty, go ahead, change that out, and go again. Now sometimes it helps that if you have really gunky berries, just go ahead and let them soak for a while. Uh, and keep alternating that until they're actually pretty, pretty clean. Um, after that, basically, you're just going to need to kind of take them out. You know, fish them out with a screwdriver if using a cup. With this one, I just gotta kind of easily pull it out. Um, and then just kind of set them on a paper towel to dry. You can also use a compressed air canister to make sure you get everything out of the bearing. So you want to make sure all this cleaning agent is out of there. Um, and then set them down to dry. Um, and set them out to, once they dry, you can add a couple drops of lubrication back in. Um, put back on the shields. And then you're pretty much ready to go. Well, last thing I do is just put the other shield on. For me, anyway, usually it's just one shield. Just kind of gently snap that in. Give a little spin test that it's good. And that's pretty much it for cleaning out your bearings. So this has pretty much been like some of the most popular techniques for kind of tuning your longboard, keeping it maintained. Try to keep it out of sand, try to keep it out of water, and it should be rolling for a long, long time.